Welcome aboard the treasure ship, the SS Flying Start, here in Preston Dock. And it's here that you can pick up the biggest cash prizes in British television history, up to £25,000, no less, to create new jobs in the Northwest. So if you've got a good money-making idea, or you've just launched your business and you need a bit of help, then write to us urgently now for an application form. There's just enough time. Here's the address. Flying Start, Granada Television, Key Street, Manchester, M60, 9EA. And now another battle of brains as two teams of undergraduates line up to face a university challenge. University challenge. Asking the questions, Bamba Gascoigne. Hello and welcome. That is a nice forum reception. Welcome again to University Challenge. We have back our last week's winners, the University of Wales Institute of Science and Technology at Cardiff, who are making their third appearance with two victories behind them. And that means to remind, to remind you of the rules that if they win this game, they'll become one of our three times winners to reappear in the knockout. And the team here to try and stop them doing that is Corpus Christi Oxford. So let's meet the teams and first, Uist. Paul Kavanagh from Chelmsford and Essex, reading law. Anthony Williams from Reed of Raw News, Swansea, reading town planning. And their captain? David Lana from Milford Haven, David, reading Town Planning. Brian Doherty from Liverpool, studying mechanical engineering. Yeah! <laughs> and now, Corpus Christi. Francis White from Little Chelfont in Buckinghamshire, researching in Celtic philology. John Warner from Huddersfield, West Yorkshire, reading chemistry. And their captain? Judith Mossman from Caterham in Surrey, reading Literae Humaniores. Gerard Baker from Welling in Kent, the sabbatical deputy president of Oxford University Student Union, otherwise reading PPE. So there are the teams, everyone on his or her own, as usual, for a starter question for 10 points, and then a more valuable bonus, invariably 15, to be discussed within the team. So let's go straight into the game, and here's your first starter for 10. In the 1951 film Bedtime for Bonzo, where a chimpanzee played the title role, which... U.S. Williams. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan was the male actor. Yeah! You're absolutely right. Ronald Reagan was the male actor co-starring with Bonzo. Ten points for U.S. to bonus of 15. <laughs> but what is the difference between those airships which are called blimps and the other type of which the Zeppelins were famous examples? Zeppelins carried people. Yeah. Well, presumably the Zeppelins have got a steel super yeah. steel yeah. structure. Anyone? Yes. Harry? Yes. Zeppelins have got a metal structure. Blimps, and blimps are just uh, filled. Yes, correct. Filled They're non-rigid yeah. blimps. They're just filled, as you say, with gas. They meant B limp. The, t the name was type B limp, five points. Second, for what purpose, nothing to do with aviation, is a blimp used in filmmaking? Uh, for editing. No, it's a cover for the camera, which prevents the sound of the camera getting out and getting onto the, onto the uh, sound track. And last, who invented the die-hard reactionary character, Colonel Blimp? It was David Lowe, the cartoonist. And here's a starter again. What is the technical name for the summer behaviour pattern of creatures, such as the lungfish, which pass the summer or dry season in a dormant condition, their habit being the opposite of hibernation? It is called... Corpus Christi Mossman. Theoriation. No. Lewis, can you take it? It is called estivation. And here's a starter again. Which island was being besieged by the French in 1756 when the unfortunate Admiral Bing... Lewis <coughs> Williams. Minorca. Minorca, 10 points to Lewis. Admiral Bing failed to relieve it and got shot for his pains. A bonus of 15 to Lewis. First, which writer who died in 1983, aged 90, was born Cicely Isabel Fairfield but took her literary pseudonym from the heroine of an Ibsen play. Uh, Rebecca West. Rebecca West, correct, who's the heroine of Rosmer's home. Second, with which fellow author did Rebecca West have an affair for some ten years, bearing him a son? Well, having his son, I should say. Anyone? Having her son with him. It is H.G. Wells, and last, her last book, published the year before her death, told the history of one particular year in her childhood, which? It was... 1914. No, 1900. A starter again. <clears throat> Which Prime Minister of Australia was dismissed by the then Governor-General... U.S. Williams. Gough Whitlam. Gough Whitlam has no hold on it. 
1975 is my holding at the moment, but don't despair. Let Corpus Christi lots of time to go. Bonus of 15 to you. It's first, what part of the tongue is called the frenum? F-R-E-N-U-M. Oh, the underside of the tongue. Yes, the bit underneath it, correct. The membrane below it, five points. Second, the taste buds of the tongue are said to be responsive in differing degrees to four basic tastes. What are the four? Five points for the lot, I'm afraid. <clears throat> um, sweet. Mm. sweet. Yes. Bitter. Yes. Salt. 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 Yes, and one more. Um, sour. Sour. Sour is correct. Also <coughs> called acid. Well done. You've got all four for five points. And last, in what artistic activity is tonguing used, as in double tonguing or flutter tonguing? It is. Um, painting. No, it's playing a wind instrument such as flute, piccolo, and so on. Clarinet. To start her again. What remarkable quintuple success was achieved on St. Patrick's Day, 1983? Corpus Christi Mossman. Uh, someone had quintuplet. No, bad luck. Five hundred into Corpus. Full question here is no conferring. By the trainer Michael Dickinson at Cheltenham. U.S. Williams. He won the Gold Cup and therefore completed uh, quintuple classics for the season. No, I'm afraid he was odder even than that. He, he had trained all five horses which came numbers one to five in the race. The first five horses in the Gold Cup were all trained by him, the only five he'd put in for it. Well, the only five, I think, more than most. The starter again. What activity is emphasised in the English name for the three days preceding Lent, though it only survives strongly now in the name for the, name for the last of the three, the day before Ash Wednesday? What activity? Corpus Christi White. Um, it's when people go to confession and get shriven. Correct, when they go to confession and get shriven, they do shrove. <laughs> Shrove Tuesday and Shrove Tide to Shrive is to confess or be confessed. Ten points to Corpus Christi, and they're off with a bonus of 15. First, what did the initials MG stand for as seen on the famous make of car? Morris Garage. Morris Garage is five points. Second, what is manufactured by an MG machine, also known as a Yankee machine? The MG standing for machine glazed in this case. Um, pottery. No, it's paper. It's a shiny paper on one side. And last, which singer was backed by a pop group formed in the 1960s called the MG, standing for Memphis Group? Booker T. Booker T, five points. And here's a starter again. What did the USA do during 1983 on April the 24th, the USSR on April the 1st, Albania not at all, and Britain and the rest of Europe on March the 27th at one o'clock... Corpus Christi Baker. Uh, set the clocks forward. Correct, set the clocks forward for summertime. Ten points, a bonus of 15. First, what was the maiden name of Jacqueline Kennedy, later Jacqueline Onassis? Uh, Bouvier. Bouvier, five points. Second, what kind of, kind of animal is a Bouvier de Flandre? A beaver, I should think. A beaver. No, it's a dog. It's a cattle-driving working dog. And last, what is the married name in fiction of Emma Rouault? who becomes bored as a country doctor's wife and eventually poisons herself with arsenic. Madame Bovary. Bovary, correct, five points. And that brought you up to only 15 behind. I've got a music bonus coming of 15, and here's a music starter. What does this music come from? Here it is. Corpus Christi Baker. The musical Evita. Evita, correct. Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice, that was a fraction of it from Avita, and that's brought you up to only five points behind, and you get the music bonus, which could put you in the lead. We didn't, we didn't ask you to give the answer Argentina for your starter, but now I'm going to ask you to give me the name of the countries connected with these three pieces. Here's the first. Spain is correct. Rhapsody Espanol by Ravel. And second, the country this time. Here it is. No, it's the United States of America. It's, West, it's from West Side Story, a piece entitled The Rumble from West Side Story. And last for five points, this one, here it is. Right. Um, we think it's Finlandia. No, I'm afraid it isn't. It's, it's not, it's not so bad. It's, it's Italy. It's uh, Italian Symphony Number no. 4 by Mendelssohn. And here's a starter again. Leaving them at neck and neck, 55 all. And here's a starter. 
What is the definition of one liter, the definition being itself in terms of another unit in the metric system? U.S. Doherty. Uh, a decimeter squared, uh, cubed. Uh, well, that, that, that's an internal one. I mean, I mean that's something which can actually tell you what, what, what uh, a liter, you know, a liter really is. I'm, you can go on because you're right so far, but I need the, well, the proper answer. Well, a thousand cubic centimeters. Uh... Um, wait a minute, a thousand cubic centimeters. No, no, we don't get there that way. Corpus, can you take it? You're on your own. No conferring. Corpus Christi Remember Warner. Your, wait, let's have a Glorious close up with your buzzer. I can't. Corpus Christi Warner. Uh, a kilogram of water. It's the volume occupied by a kilogram of water, correct? That's why I said it's from another unit in the metric system. Ten points to Corpus, and that puts them in the lead. A bonus of 15. First, which fruit has English varieties called May Dukes and White Hearts? Pears. No, cherries. Second, in which novel are Cherry and Mary the nicknames of Mr. Pecksniff's daughters, Charity and Mercy? Boys Hall. No, that's not a Anyone? Um, Pickwick Papers. No, Martin Chuzzlewit. And last, which football team, nicknamed the Cherries, play at the Dean Court ground when at home? <laughs> Anyone? It is Bristol Rovers. No, Bournemouth. Henry gets <laughs> ten points only between the teams still, and here's a starter. Which fictional character's last words are these? To the last I grapple with thee, from hell's heart I stab at thee. For hate's sake I spit my last breath at thee. Sink all coffins and hearses to one common pool. And since neither can be mine, let me then tow to pieces while still chasing thee, though tied to thee, thou damned whale. Thus I give up the... U.S. Doherty. Ahab. Captain Ahab, correct. A... a race once we got to whale, and well won, U.S. The bonus of 15 can give you back the lead. The equivalent of our postcode is called in the USA a zip code. What do the letters Z ZIP stand for? Anyone? It um, is... Zone of... Um... No, it's, it's, I think you won't get that. Zone improvement plan. Second, what appear to be avoiding the zone called by astronomers the zone of avoidance? What appear not to be in the zone of avoidance? Um, meteorites. No, it's external galaxies. It's an area along the Milky Way where there appear to be fewer galaxies than elsewhere. At least we can't see them. And last, where is the abyssal zone? Um, in the sea. Yes, in any ocean. It's a matter of depth in the sea, five points. A starter again with the lead taken back by U.S. And here's a starter. Who was 13 years old in 343 B.C., which was the year in which he had to cope... Corpus Tut Christi Mossman. Tutankhamun. No, but I found into Corpus, full question on the draw, full question to you, too quick on the draw, full question to you, it's no conferring, which was the year in which he had to cope with the demands made upon him by an extremely distinguished new tutor employed by his father, the tutor being Aristotle. You're on your own. U.S. Doherty. Alexander the Alexander Great. the Great, correct. Bad luck, Corpus, they get easier. Ten points to you, it's a bonus of 15. First, what did Winston Churchill describe in a broadcast talk of October 1939 as a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma? Russia. Russia and its actions, five points. Second, who choreographed a ballet based on Elgar's enigma variations in 1968 while he was director of the Royal Ballet? Anyone? It was Sir Frederick Ashton. And last, in winemaking, what is the purpose of riddling a practice also called remouage, which is done daily with champagne bottles. It's uh, the practice of uh, turning them. Um, yes, what is the purpose? I said, what, oh, what's, sorry, what's it for? Stop uh, to stop the sediment accumulating. No, I'm afraid it's the opposite. It's to make it accumulate, it's to make it accumulate on the cork so that you can later get rid of it in the champagne. Uh, halfway through the show with the score standing at US 90, Corpus Christi 65, and here's a starter. What word deriving from the Spanish for going around has moved on from its original sense of a roundup of cattle to mean exhibitions of the cowboy skills? U.S. Lana. Rodeo. Rodeo, 10 points to U.S. The bonus of 15. First, which laws state the impossibility of the following? First, of measuring exactly at the same time the momentum and position of an electron. It is. Um, well, Pauli is exclusion principle. Uh, no, it's Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Second, the impossibility of accelerating an electron to a velocity greater than the velocity of light. Relativity. That's not having it from the audience, please. I hear a bit of murmuring. Anyone? Uh, relativity. It is indeed. It's Einstein's general, uh, special <laughs> theory of relativity. General was different. Five points. And last, the impossibility of work being completed in less than the time available for it. 
Anyone? Peter. It is Peter. called Peter. Parkinson's Law, which was work expands so as to fill the time available for its completion. A starter again. What term has been borrowed by physicists from a famous line in James Joyce's Finnegan's Wake? Corpus Christi Warner. Quark. Quark is correct. Yeah. The line being three quarks, four muster mark is the line, ten points to Corpus, a bonus of fifteen. First, what, high above what French city is the Cathedral of Notre Dame de la Garde, surmounted by a 30 foot high gilded statue of the Virgin, visible from far out at sea? It is. Calais? No, Marseille. Second, from what rocky island prison off Marseille does the hero of the Count of Monte Cristo escape? Uh, the Chateau d'If. Chateau d'If, five points. And last, which naval port is some 50 miles southeast of Marseille? Nice? No, Toulon. And here's a starter again. Which South African poet who fought on the side of the fascists in the Spanish Civil War had in 1924 won immediate fame with his first long poem, The Flaming Terrapin? He is... Fooled them all on this. He is Roy Campbell, and here's a starter again. What word used in psychoanalysis for the relieving of underlying tensions by bringing... Rep Corpus Christi White. Sublimation. No, bad luck. Following value to Corpus Christi, full question to you is no conferring. By bringing reprieved ideas, sorry, repressed ideas or experiences into the conscious mind is borrowed from Aristotle, who used it specifically to mean the purification of the emotions through pity and fear, as when watching a tragedy. U.S. Kavanagh. Catharsis. Catharsis, 10 points to you. It's the bonus of 15. <coughs> First, what was established with 40 founding members by Cardinal de Richelieu in 1634 and still flourishes? French Academy. The French Academy, Academy Francaise, five points. Second, which academy was founded in 1927 by Louis B. Mayer and others and still flourishes? Anyone? Um, academy of Performing Arts. The, uh, no, it's the, the cat, um, Academy of uh, film, film Awards. Um. Yes, I accept that. Academy of Motion, Picture Arts and Science is the actual name, but as you say, it's the Academy Awards, the Oscars. And last of five points, what was the name of the Academy run by Wackford Squeers, the like of which fortunately no longer flourishes? Do the Boys Hall. Do the Boys Hall. Do the Boys Hall, correct, and Nicholas Nickleby, five points. Right, we go to our picture question. I've got a bonus of 15 coming, and here's a picture starter. Give me the date to within two years that this poster first appeared. Here it is. The date to within two years. U.S. Kavanagh. 1939. No, Corpus, can you take it? You're on your own. Corpus Christi Warner. 1941. 41? 41. 41, yes, it is in fact 1942. You were near enough, it's 1942, it was. Bad luck, you was just outside. Ten points to Corpus Christi, a bonus of 15. Three more posters, all from the London Transport Museum. The first is a British Rail poster. To within three years, when did it first appear? 27. Anyone? 28. Uh, 1930. No, all the way. It's 1952 it, it was, that one. Second, again dating this underground poster for Golders Green, <laughs> calling it a, a place of delightful prospects, appeared when suburbs were <coughs> suburbs. I want to allow you to be five years out on the dating of this one. <coughs> when did that appear? 1930. No, that's 908. That's all the way back to 908. And last for five points to within three years, when were people invited to hire a private bus to take them <coughs> to their picnic, as in that, to within three years? 1920. Bad luck, I'm afraid you're too early. It's 1926, that style. All right, a starter again. Which powerful younger man was much in the company of George Wishart, who began a preaching tour of the Lothians in December 1545? Corpus Christi Baker. Calvin. No, if I'm penalty to Corpus Christi, full question here is no conferring and was uh, burned for heresy in 1546, the brief acquaintance confirming the younger man in the reformed faith and helping to set him on his own preaching career. You're on your own. U.S. Kavanagh. Erasmus. No, John Knox. And here's a starter again. In mathematics, if eight is being used as the base, which of our conventional numbers will be the equivalent of that written as 101? With eight as the base. Corpus Christi White. 65. 65 is correct, because 8 eight are 64, which become 100. 10 points to Corpus, a bonus of 15. First, what is the Jewish name for the Pentateuch, or Old Testament books of Moses? Uh, Torah. The Torah, five points. Second, what was the name of the prophet who, it is said, wrote the text on the gold plates, which Joseph Smith claimed to have found buried in the earth in 1822? 
He is he was Mormon, yes, correct. It is the Book of Mormon. He was Mormon. And last of five points, of which of what religion is the Grant Saib, the holy the book? Sikhs. Sikhs, five points. And here's a start again then twenty-five points now between the teams. What is the middle name of the Right Honourable Roy H. Jenkins, MP? Corpus Christi Baker. Harris. Harris is correct. Ten points to Corpus. <laughs> Got an STP member on that team. A bonus of 15 to Corpus. What is the characteristic appearance of fabric called rep? R-E-P. It's shiny. No, it has a corded surface. It can be any sort of material, but it has a corded surface. Second, which landscape gardener was famous for the red books, which he prepared to show clients how he proposed to remodel their estates? Capitip. Repton. Well, wish you want. Oh, sorry. Uh, Capability Brown. Repton. Wish you want. What do you Repton. 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 You decided on Repton. Repton. It is indeed Repton. Humphrey <laughs> Repton. Repton. And last five points. In the 18th century, who or what was known as a demi rep? Um, is it a sort of. Um, sure. Anyone have to hire you? An essay. Um, it, no, it's in fact, but usually particularly prostitutes, any woman of doubtful reputation, the idea being she had only half her reputation left, demi rep. Less than five minutes to start her. In which profession has the word assoluta been very occasionally added? Corpus Christi White. Um, ballerina. Ballerina, prima ballerina. Assoluta brings them up at neck and neck at 140 or less than five minutes to go. Bonus of 15 to Corpus could give you the lead. First, in Celtic tradition, what is a coronac or what is the occasion for it? It's a uh, wedding feast. No, the opposite. It's a choral lament for the dead. Second, what is, what is the English translation of the title of Gogol's novel, Miotvi Dushi? Um, dead, dead, souls. Souls. dead Souls. Dead Souls. Dead Souls, five points. And last, in what year were the first of the Dead Sea Scrolls discovered by Shepherd Boys now allow you to be five out? 47. Spot on. It was 47. Yeah. Five points. Yeah. Ten point lead to uh, Corpus. Lots of time. Four minutes to go. Here's a start. Which prophet is described in the Bible as the Tishbite? and was brought bread and flesh morning and evening by the raven. U.S. Doherty. Elijah. Elijah, and that brings them back neck and neck. And a bonus of 15 can give them back the lead. First, where does the sagittal suture mark the junction of the parietal bones? It is, anyone? It's at the top of the skull. Second, give me both names, one deriving from Hebrew and the other from Latin for the New Testament place of the skull. Five points the pair. Golgotha and Calvary. Golgotha and Calvary, five points the pair, gives them back the lead. And last, what does the term dolicocephalic mean and what is its opposite? Five points the pair. It means, it means having a long thin skull and brachycephalic, a broad skull, is the opposite. Only three, not three or so minutes to go, five points between the teams, here's a starter. What collective name was given to the group of liberals who headed the opposition to Lord Russell's Reform Bill of 1866? The name being a reference to the group of malcontents who joined the biblical David. U.S. Doherty. The Adolamites. Adolamites, 10 points to U.S. to bonus of 15. First, in which city was there a society of poets and musicians called the Camerata, whose efforts led to the first opera, Daphne, in 1597? Which city? Anyone? Finished. No, Florence. Second, for what purpose was the camera obscura originally used, many centuries before its use as an aid to drawing, the idea being to protect the eyes? Uh, it was for looking into the sun through telescopes. Yes, at what, what occasions? Eclipses. Eclipses. Eclipses, five points. And last, who was the great Renaissance um, court painter of Mantua who painted in the palace there the famous Camera degli Sposi or wedding chamber? Giotto. Less than three minutes after Harry. Giotto. No, it was Mantegna. And we've got to start her again. Which engineer, sometimes described as co founder with John Smeaton of the civil engineering pr profession, became the foremost man for canals in England in the 1760s? Lewis Williams. Brindley. Brindley, 10 points to you in the finals of 15. First, what does the French word dada mean, which was chosen at random for the name of the art movement? Erratic. It is a hobby horse. Second, of the various people who claim to have chosen the name, one was a Romanian poet with the first name Tristan. What was his surname? It was Sara. And last of five points, which French painter contributed to the movement his famous ready-made pieces of sculpture, the first two of which were a bottle rack and a urinal? Duchamp. Duchamp is correct. Five points for Duchamp. Very little time to go, and here's the starter again. What is the equivalent in centigrade of 41 degrees Fahrenheit? <laughs> U.S. Doherty. Four degrees. No, Corpus, can you take it? I'm going to have to hurry, though. Done it very quick, anyone. It is five degrees. I beat you to it, and here's the starter again. In which city does a precious altar screen called the Paladoro stand in a church dedicated to St. Mark? U.S. Williams. Venice. Venice. You've got it right that time, with Venice. A bonus of 15 to Lewis. First, which English novelist who died in 1966 was described as a young man by his friend Sir Harold Acton 
as fawn-like with his reddish hair and light, quick movements. But, says the Dictionary of National Biography, inclined to portliness at the end of his life. English novelist? It was Evening of War. Second, of which British writer who died young in 953 did war remark, he's exactly what I would have been if I had not become a Catholic. Sorry, British writer, British, I correct myself, if you're talking to you, I'm sorry, I couldn't remember, British writer, what? 1953, British writer. It was... Uh, uh, Dylan Thomas. Dylan Thomas, my apologies to all in the Principality for calling him English accidentally. And last, in 935, War won the Hawthorne Prize for a book about an English Jesuit martyr, who? Campion. Campion, five points, very little time to go, and here's the starter. Who wrote the words which are recited to William Walton's music in Facade? U.S. Doherty. Edith Sitwell. Edith Sitwell, ten points to U.S., and a bonus of 15 with very little time. Whose dying words were said to have been Vicisti Galilei, paraphrased, paraphrased by Swindon as thou hast conquered, O pale Galilean? Oh, it was Julian yeah! Lovell State, and there's the gong with the score at U.S. a magnificent third victory. Very bad luck, Corpus Christi. Tremendous form by U.S. It means that U.S. will retire to reappear in our knockout at the end of the series. So, for the moment, it's goodbye from Corpus. Goodbye. And from a triumphant U.S. Goodbye. Yeah! Yeah! I think it's fair to say the first time ever that a, science, a college specialising in science and technology has ever, has ever got through to the knockout, which is a great, great achievement. And from me until the same time next week when we have two new teams, Selwyn, Cambridge and Maudlin, Oxford, goodbye. on the fabulous QE2. This week's TV.